Hi everybody, this is uh, this, a tutorial for the woven body hex nymph. Uh, it's a way of tying the nymph to the woven body. Uh, a little bit different technique, but uh, it gives a fly a real nice look uh, by using two different types of materials to tie the body. Uh, I start off with tying the anchor in for the tail, the anchor shaft feathers off of a saddle hackle, which are the bottom feathers uh, tied on a uh, tied on top of the hook. And then what I like to do is to create a tapered body. Is to use 35,000 lead wire, cut it on a sharp taper, and tie that in on the sides of the hook shank. Uh, you tie one piece in on one side, cut the eye end of the hook on another taper, cut the taper once again for the other side, tie that in. Now as you're doing this, Quite often what happens is this lead wire wants to roll on the hook shank. Uh, so what you want to do is once you get both sides tied in, uh, continue wrapping forward to get quite a few wraps on and then just take a pair of pliers and squeeze down on top of the hook shank and that will uh, want to even out the lead wire to where it should be. Now what you want to do here, and it's pretty important when you're weaving a body and you're using lead wire cut on a sharp taper, is you want to make sure you have enough wraps of thread at the front end and the rear uh, to make sure you cover those points that were created when you cut that taper, or else uh, when you use Antron yarn, which is what I'll be using, uh, for the underside of this nymph, when you use that Antron arn, yarn and you go to wrap it or weave it, that yarn tends to uh, catch on those leading edges, so uh, or leading points that you cut into the lead wire. So you want to make sure you uh, uh, you want to make sure you uh, cover those tips. 